I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here for Loving Hip Hop Miami Season 2, Episode 11. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you return and you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. So, Chaotic and Hollywood are doing a little music video, like, on the side of the road, but, like, not in a bad way. Because it was some nice build buildings in the background, but it was, like, the side of the road. But anyway, Chaotic said that he's only doing a video because, one, Hollywood thinks he's going to be going to jail soon. And we need to get this video out but in case you do go to jail. And, two, I'm going to do this video Cause I won't, and I won't, I'll do the video, but the only way I'm going to do it, if Joy can do my hair. Now I'm sitting here thinking, your hair is matted, so I don't know what was, you know, much Joy could do to it. It's not like you just had your know, afro and she can, you know, do some cornrows into some type of design. You have dreads and they matted, uh, most of them are matted into like several big dreads. And I don't know what much she could have done. So, but you wanted Joy there. Now, he's talking about how the DA is offered a plea. But he's like, uh-uh, because that means jail time. I would rather take my, you know, chances in court. You know, tell my side of the story. You know, get that done. It's a gamble, but, you know, this is what he want to do. And he says how the chase activated his PTSD. Like, you in this car, there's no sirens flashing. I'm thinking I'm going to get shot because the last time a car rolled up on me like that, I got shot. And they get to talk about all the people that they've lost to gun violence. And y'all, I was looking at Hollywood and I was like, him and Veronica look similar. And I, I think, I'm thinking that's the first time I noticed that. I had to run back in there and like, you know, re um, restart the episode. Because I was like, I kept on saying it was chaotic in Prince when I tried to do the video a minute ago. But I was like, that don't sound right. So I had to go back in there and I looked, I was like... Hollywood and Veronica favor each other. And I think that's the first time that I noticed that. But anyways. Jesse Wu says that Julian out here calling people trying to stop her money. Now, I was thinking that would be stupid on his part. Seeing as how that you're still his client. And if he's stopping you from making money working with people, that's stopping some money that he would get. But I mean, th stranger things have happened. So I think she was talking to Trina. You know, Trina, she didn't kind of had her issues with Julian too because he's been more of helping, Ver um, not Verna, but helping Amara out. But like, if you ain't really got nothing going on right now and Amara has something going right on right now, not that it's right, but he's going to be over to helping Amara out because she's the one bringing in the money. When you come up with some idea and it's going to bring in some money, I'm going to go over there and give you my expertise, expertise. But until that time, I'm going where the money's at. So, it's the day before Chaotic's case and the news shows the aftermath of the, of the event. Somehow, the news station and got, you know, Chaotic's car and how he was running from the police and how he had a parked car and... How was two people in that car that may or may not have got injured? I think they got like slightly injured, not not seriously injured. But he's like, that's not looking good on his case because one, when we go to jury selection, they didn't already seen this, so they are they already didn't got they minds already been tainted by what's going on. So the lawyer tells Kayada do not do any kind of interviews because you know that could be bad on you. I e R Kelly out here doing interviews and was looking completely and totally crazy, but that's another story for another time. But the lawyer does talk to the um, gets talks to the news and saying then he's from a you know neighborhood where you know somebody roll up on you. They not rolling up on you to ask you for directions. They rolling up on you because they want to harm you. He was fearful of his life. Now I'm paraphrasing you guys and. When he ran after the initial, after the crash, once they said, freeze, we're the police, he sat down. He didn't continue running. But while they was chasing him, okay, you in an unmarked car. I don't see no lights. I'm fearful of my, of my life. Now, I done told y'all before, they got police, like, SUVs here in Houston that I didn't know was an SUV until the lights came on. Now, y'all know back in the day, police car, black and white, sirens on top. Says police on the side. 
you know it's a police a police car they didn't you know got better police cars they got suv police cars that are black and light black black and white siren on top says police on the side this one was a black suv with tinted windows could be everyday car it wasn't until they turned the lights on i was like now when did this happen because the lights was inside of the back the the back window inside the window so if this car is chasing you and they haven't turned on their lights or just for whatever reason you got not gonna know today police anyways so it's somebody showcase i think trina was having some showcase for like the people who just under her record label like first amara's dealing with trick thinking this is a date now he asked her to come to this event but at not one time do i remember him using the word date he just thinks amara just thought you know we hanging out as friends but you know he thinking this a date and he didn't got in his feelings thinking about no nah, bro this was supposed to be a date but she's like i just came here to have fun i it ain't that type of party for me then she got to deal with trina being mad because julian is you know not really you know, Julian was her manager and all that stuff and business partner and all that stuff. And, you know, it used to be he had all his time for Trina. But that could have been that he didn't have that many clients. And now he's getting, you know, making making more clients and he got to spread himself out. But Amara's like, I just thought you didn't like me. Like, your issues with me has more to do with Julian. Julian. So maybe you should, you know, take that up with Julian and not be mad at me. It's not like I'm saying don't work with anybody else. Hmm. So, some of the cast meet up, discuss loved ones who've been, you know, been killed through gun violence. And it's just sad how somebody can get so mad and just, okay, I want to end your life. Like, I live here in Houston, and almost every day you hear of somebody getting shot. You hear of, okay, it's a mistaken identity. It was like maybe a month or two ago this young this little girl got killed because somebody mistaken her mother's car for somebody they got into with with earlier that day now she didn't lost her life now this person had lost their freedom they was probably gonna lose their freedom regardless because they was out to kill somebody but now you thinking and, and you didn't shot the wrong person you want to do a drive-by shooting and you didn't shot everybody but the person you was trying to you know shoot how easily it is for somebody to get a gun. Like, what about background checks? Like, I'm all for, you know, you having a gun to, to protect your home. But, like, you just going out on the street. You mad at somebody. Oh, they scuffed my shoe while we was at the party. Bam. I just shot them. It's just like, it's hard to keep up, keep up with the shootings on here. My mother was like, you hear about that shooting? I'm like, what shooting? That no, no, nah, not that shooting. I was like, what else happened? Like, some of the cast members... Their family members have been shot an, an, an extreme amount of time. That is not the word I'm looking for. I don't want to be out here saying words. Now, like, that ain't the right word. Like, a crazy amount of time. I'm not talking about some they just got shot just one time. No. I think Trick Daddy said his brother's vehicle got shot up 300 times. That's overkill. That, that's just crazy. Here you are. You, I've heard several stories where a child got a hold of a gun, accidentally shot and killed themselves, accidentally shot and killed somebody else, accidentally shot themselves or just shot somebody else. It, it's just crazy. And like how people are so quick with anger to shoot somebody, taking a life from somebody. I, I don't get it. But hopefully talking about it more will bring more and more aware awareness to the situation. But I want to say this about Chaotic. Like, he's lucky, lucky that he was able to walk away with his life. So, you guys, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It is free all day, every day. Free 99. If you're retiring and you a family member, you're one of my people's. Welcome back. Tell your people to tell their people to come over here and be one of my peoples. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.